global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello, people. Welcome back to our channel. We are so excited to have you again. Some days ago, the Christianization of Nigeria in Abia State came up to tell Nigerians that IPOP was not actually the people causing insecurity in the Southeast, but that it was mainly being sponsored by um, politicians, top politicians who are using this voice, this hoodlum, to perpetuate all manner of act. And right now, there is another uncovering that has been released into the air, and it has to do with uh, Uzodima and Ebubagu. The IPOP, the indigenous people of Biafra, has come out to say very strong words and brought forth strong allegation against Uzodima and his role that he's playing in Ebubagu. We are going to see all of that in a jiffy. But before we do that, if you have not subscribed to our channel, and kindly hit on the red subscribe button and also the bell icon so that you can get notification anytime we publish our video. The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOV, has accused the Imo state governor, Hobo Zodima, of setting up the Ebubagu security outfit as a, mil a militia group to carry out odd jobs for him. The group berated the governor for denying the activities of Ibubagu in the state when he was questioned about it recently. In a statement on Wednesday, the media and publicity secretary of IPOP, Emma Powerful, said Uzodima's denial of Ibubagu has contradicted his earlier position, thus creating confusion everywhere, adding that it was too late for the governor to deny the outfit which he set up as a militia for odd jobs. The statement pointed out that Uzodima made the denial in one of the gatherings he attended a few days ago when he was asked about the activities of Ebubagu in Imo State. According to the statement by IPOP, it read thus, Our attention has been drawn to the recent confession by Hobo Zodima of Imo State over the operation of the infamous Ebubagu security out of it. Uzodima denied knowing any activities of the Ibubagu security outfit in Imo State when he was asked about their infamous activities. Uzodima should please be told that it is too late for him to deny Ibubagu. He set the militia group up for odd jobs. The enemies come in the region is confused now. Uzodima said that any way people see Ibubagu, they should kill them. But we know the antics of Hope Usodima. He is only telling lies about Ibubagu. IPOP gathering gathered through intelligence that out of anger, the Ibubagu team went to Imo State Police Area Command in Olu to complain about the latest development by the governor. But unfortunately, it resulted in some confrontation that led to the killing of two Ibubagu militia men by the police. Ibubagu killed one DPO and six other inspectors of police in Olu Area Command. Hmm. The Nigerian GTF has moved into Osumugu in Anambra State with their armed personnel carry, carrier and over 10 HELOX pickups shooting radically in the town since Monday. The enemies are trying the patience of our people. They should not take our patience for weakness. That is what IPOP say. And this is a strong accusation coming in against the governor of Imo State. And uh, also the fact that Imo State governor has denied anything to do with Ebubagu is something worth looking at. Don't forget that Ebubagu is a brainchild of the South Eastern governors. They came together just like what was happening in the Southeast, you know, where they set up their own uh, this thing, their own uh, regional security outfit, uh, which is uh, uh, Omotekun. Now, after setting it up, uh, also the Southeast felt that it was needful for them to set theirs also up so that they can help enhance the fighting of crime in the Southeast. But just like IPOP has said, after a while, there were complaints. You know, multiple complaints by the community people that this Ebubagu, they were using, you know, their office to perpetuate all manner of crime against civilians, which is quite unlawful. That they were going around burning people's houses and they were doing a lot of things. And the question, big question was, who empowered them? 
I Bob now had revealed that in a meeting where um, the governor attended, he was asked several questions, and one of it borders around the illegality or the illegal activities of Ebubago, and the man blatantly de denied them that he has nothing to do with Ebubago, which, you know, after that had happened, I don't I, I don't know about it. It is for me, it's alleged, because I've not seen that in the media, but however, um, I don't think also that IPOP can sit down and vomit that kind of uh, this thing, that kind of statement. Uh, however, they said that after everything that the governor consolidated on the fact that if Ibubago is seen anywhere doing anything which is against the law, the people should lynch them, they should deal with them and all of that. But here, the, uh, Ibom is trying to tell him, no need to deny, you were the one that brought these people into being and you had charged them to go around to carry out some odd jobs which today, it is now kind of blowing back at you and all of that. Now, some days ago also, we heard what the um, Christian Association of Nigeria said about um, the people who are responsible for insecurity in the Southeast. And shockingly, they talked about the politicians, that they are the ones who are behind insecurity in Nigeria, that unfortunately the people that they are making use are actually those hoodlums that they use during political seasons. That those hoodlums are the ones now who are turning out to be UGM, hitting on people who are of great value, even to the southeast. That the, the people who were behind the veil, in other words, their own sponsor, is actually politicians. And I mean, these guys have done so much mayhem and now Ibubago has also been denied. So what is really happening? Why is it that we cannot set up a group of people and we put a benchmark for them or show them this is how far you can go? Before now, what we heard was that even when you know this regional security outfit will exist, they wouldn't hold guns. What they would do is if they get a hold of any culprit, they will hand over those culprits to the police. The police now will prosecute the culprit. But shockingly, for Ibubago, it was quite different. And the question is, who handed over some of the things, the arms that they were holding? Who handed it over to them? Who empowered them to be doing such? Today, we do not know what this, their story is because there was a, it came to a point that their influence in the South is, was so serious, negative influence was so serious that the people were crying out and demanding that that particular group uh, should be totally exterminated. The situation is getting terrible day after day. But now, Hypop is saying that this Gehobu Zodima was actually using uh, these Ebubago people for all manner of inactions, um, all manner of odd actions, you know, and all of that. Let's look at what Nigerians have to say, because when accusations like this come, or allegations like this come, it, it, it's troubling, it shocks uh, one's mind, because how, how would you agree that the, the state governor is the one behind, you know, wants to use some group of people to do this and all of that? Let's look at what Nigerians have to say, and this one says, I have no doubt about what IPOP is saying because the way these guys were operating in Imo State greatly showed that they had supporters behind them. Another one here says there should be visible evidence about this statement that IPOP is claiming it was said by Hope Uzodima because this is quite shocking. Everybody knows that Ibubagu was an agreed regional regional security outlet for the Southeast. How come he is denying them now and their activities? Wonders will never end. Another person here says, this is why I warn against local policing. The state governors, being that these people are in their payroll, will use them to fight their enemies and also their political opposition. It's a serious issue that must be dealt with. I thank IPO for always uncovering this thing because I know that now that it has been uncovered, surely Uzodima will come out to clear his name in the media. We'd like to leave it there. Go to our comment section. Let's interact. What's your position on this claim by IPOP against Hobo Zodima? Let's interact.